in the year 20XX. Nothing is ruined. Everything's fine. <laughs> it will be, anyway. Let's get to work. Hey guys, I'm so mongry, and I'd like to welcome you to 20XX. I just saw this game on Steam, and I didn't even play it. All I did was look at it, and I instantly knew this was going to be one of my favorite games, because this looks amazing. If you are a Mega Man fan, you are going to love this. I mean, absolutely love this. And they sold me right away at Online Multiplayer. An online multiplayer Mega Man game? I have been waiting for this forever! This is awesome! Super awesome! So I'm going to be bringing you guys some gameplay with some uh, friends and some gameplay over on my co-op channel Bro Bros as well. Super excited about that. And I should also mention that this game is a roguelike game. So it's similar to like Binding of Isaac or Enter the Gungeon where if you die, you die for good. And also the levels are randomly generated. Alright, I'm going to check out my controls and I will meet you guys back at the start. Alright guys, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Tip, the boomerang blade can be thrown. Hopefully it doesn't come back and chop my head off. Alright, so this is the tutorial. This feels exactly like Mega Man right away. I can charge. I can jump into the fire. Oh, it rewound me. Probably because it's a tutorial. And then I have a dash as well. And then there's wall jumps. Okay, cool, cool. Alright, I got a slide and dash here, just like Mega Man. There we go. Yeah, this game feels really good. Really responsive. Real nice. Looks good, too. I like it. I dig it. And we look super close to Mega Man with our color scheme, with the blue. I think we're a girl, though. Although, I could be wrong. Could be a guy with long hair. Could be, like, the Fabio. What do we got? Boomerang Blade? That sounds cool. Love myself a Boomerang Blade. And it doesn't work with any of the power buttons. I'll have to take a look at the controls here in a second. Now I'm guessing you get power-ups randomly throughout the levels. Whereas in like a Mega Man game you would get it by beating a boss. But this is a roguelike game, so it's different. And it looks like my boomerang is on Y. Okay. And then you can see our character on the left. Looks like a girl. It's gotta be a girl. And then there's different stats there. Cool. Let's check out our boomerang. That's pretty cool. I don't know how many of those I have, but that's cool. Okay, so you can just walk into those and they're like doors. Oh, exactly like Mega Man! <laughs> this is gonna be really cool with somebody else. Rollster Beta. Roll free or die. Okay, this guy looks cool. Alright, seems pretty simple to start. I got nailed there. I'm gonna throw one of my blades up there. Ooh, and that hurts him a lot. And we got him. Booyah! Real nice. That was cool. Yeah, I cannot wait to play this with someone else. So that was the tutorial. I wonder if I can switch my characters in here. What's up, dude? Okay, so it's got a store just like the roguelike games. And what is this thing? Not sure if I want to spend my money there. It looks gold and shiny, but I don't know. This is the setup. Ooh, you can play as Ace. Let's do that. Let's try out Ace. So he's like the zero. And he's got the sword. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so you can play casual, normal. You can do casual, take three unlocked passives. And then defiant. Ooh. We might just do a normal run. I'm guessing they're going to do different characters. Oh, and then here's a multiplayer portal. Sweet. This game is great already. I can't believe it's taken somebody so long to make an online Mega Man style game. This is so awesome. 
This is what Mighty Number no. 9 should have been. And I haven't even played the game, and I'm already loving it. Alright, so these are different challenges. Daily Hardcore with Swarm Toxin and, and uh, Wrath. Different Daily Challenge with three random skulls. So that's kind of like the Halo skulls you can put on to make it harder. Daily Challenge 1. Let's just jump into a normal run for our first episode here. So it's going to randomly generate the levels, which is super cool. Alright, so a Shatterbeak here. And we got Ace. We slicing up the birds. Which is kind of weird. Usually you shoot a bird, but in our case, we will sword him. I don't think I can make that. Let's we'll go down with the spikes. Die, Penguin. It's crazy that it randomly generates the level, even though it's like an ice level, so everything's all like icy, which is cool. What is this thing? Looks like a turtle shell. Turtle power? Whoa. I have a bad feeling about that. Yep. That thing hurts. Oh, it's a targeter. So I don't want to step in those. So you're telling me the thing exploding on my head is a bad thing. <laughs> yep, that's what we're saying, Lloyd. <laughs> okay, there's a box over there. Is that worth it? I guess we can check it out. Oh yeah, we get money from that. Or small nuts. That's what squirrels want. I guess they just want nuts in general. Everybody's looking for that nut. So they can hibernate during the winter. What is this thing? Glory zone? Be swift? Alright, I'll go into the glory zone. Penguins. Oh, so it's like a challenge room. Wait, can I charge the sword? I can. Oh, then it's just a more damaging attack. Cool. Yeah, this game is awesome. Love this game. I hope you guys will uh, leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the game because I hope to play a whole bunch of it. And it should be pretty fun with friends. So we got a piece for our head there, I believe. Yeah, it shows it up here. So charging up boost your next attack too. Okay. Interesting. So you can get different pieces of equipment throughout your run. I'm gonna try to beat this game here. Hopefully it can happen. I know it's gonna be tough. Usually the roguelike games get really, really hard. But I really like this one so far. It's right up my alley. Oh no! Okay. Oh, it only takes a, a hit, okay. I thought I was done. I was like, GG, end a run. <laughs> and we got the bird. We should probably pick up as much money as we can so we can get better upgrades throughout the levels. It's probably a good idea. Oh no, got spiked. And I like the way Ace looks here. Although the other character is probably a little bit better for beginners. And I am a beginner. It's a lot easier to use a gun instead of a sword. Take that, Rhino Beetle. That thing worked me. What is that? I don't know if I should go for that. It looks super risky. It's like a portal, though. The pie is a lie. Whoa, what is this thing? Okay, I just got a dash jump for it. Wait, that's my HP! Okay, there we go. So that's a health dispenser. The old health box. Almost as good as red box. Well, maybe better. And they're hooking me up with two things here. What is this? Oh, just money? Alright. I got a whole bunch of money, so I might as well get health. Let's go! Boss battle time! Oh yeah! Oh, it's a cute little penguin. Shatterbeak! Icy Avenger. Cool! I love the little intros. Alright, so my charge attack takes off 24. Woo! 
Uh oh. I got him good there though. And penguins can't fly, so we gotta exterminate this thing, because he is an abomination to the other penguins! Yes! Booyah. What is this, our chest? Oh yeah, give me those spoils. And we got plus one power. Nice! What's up, dude? Well done, take this boss power. Or nuts. Or an aug. Okay. Is this the boss power? Splinter Frost. Latch a jagged ice shard that fans out on contact. Okay. Nut stack. Really? Really? <laughs> Potato battery. Ooh, that's pretty good actually. I'm gonna take this though, this sounds fun. Let's assign it to Y. And then there, here's a gift. Oh yeah. Oh, these are the two uh, professors up here. We might be on or something. We'll see. They got Alzheimer's. They just keep saying that over and over and over. Alright, so we can go to the Sky Temple with Kerr. Or the Perfinator. Or the Death Lotus. And we're going to do that next time. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Please make sure and leave a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments. We will continue our run next time.